So for my worst case scenario using this um, lapping probe, I wanted to um, to do just a just a low grit. You know, let's say you're a user, you don't have that much money to spend, but you want the performance. Um, so you only buy one dollar fifty cent tube of 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 polycrystalline um, diamond paste instead of like four for a whopping you know ten bucks or so once you add shipping. Um, um, so, this is the, uh, probe after it's been done. You can actually see it's, it's quite clean, although, granted, we, um, I did not, um, feed it through a very long piece of barrel. And so, I wanted to show the piece of barrel, which I cut in half. Um, I did just 50 passes with just the one and a half micron. You can see from the outside, actually, I don't know how well you can see from the outside, but you can... The outside, it, it's one of those, you know, really genuinely um, shit um, barrels that comes from, I don't know, CYMA, JG, one of, one of the Chinese clones, you know, the barrels are made from some, like, fucking copper tubing company. Um, and then the inside here, you can see I just cut it in half, so please ignore the um, slice marks. The inside here actually is... Pretty high finish, and again, this was just 50 passes. I was expecting it to, to look kind of kind of lousy, but you can see it's highlighting um, some of the uh, imperfections in the bore, uh, particularly up at this end, you can see that. Um, so it's clearly not just polishing it, because otherwise it would have simply um, polished those and they wouldn't be so apparent. Uh, I should add that I did not clean these this little segment of barrel out before I did this. This is after the probe squeegees itself. It, it just doesn't seem to leave, um, leave residue, which is very nice. Um, on the whole, I, I am actually thoroughly pleased by this. Um, obviously more passes in this instance would have been better and progressing up through, through a few grits would have been, would have been better as well. You could get, um, greater removal of material um, with less effort, but, but I guess this sort of demonstrates the fact that, you know, these little ridges of BB probably won't actually go in there, so as long as it's polished next to it, it, it should skip over it to some extent. Um, but on the whole, I'm extremely pleased at this, and because we use diamonds here, um, this works on steel as well, and I'm not willing to hack a Prometheus, in half to um, to demonstrate, but you can see. Let, let's just see if we can get a contrast here. You know, that's that is the outside versus the inside. This wasn't even the um, ugliest, most oxidized barrel in the world, but but yeah, that's that's what it can do. I am actually astonished by how well just one and a half micron diamond paste worked. I expected it to um, to not be able to uh, to produce this sort of result. Um, in such a short period of time, um, 50, 50 passes doesn't really take all that long, and um, and this is a pretty fine compound. So you can you can go finer, you can go to much finer compounds, and you can start much coarser, so you can get um, better results and get them quicker. But this is just like I said, you know, <laughs> this is this is worst case, and if this is worst case, uh, this is a higher finish in here than than you get on on a, um, a brand new Prometheus 603. Now, I can't speak to the um, diameter consistency. I really don't have the equipment to measure that. But um, but the design of the probe should increase diameter consistency because it's a series of planes um, which will fight to, um, to maintain a, a flat surface. So, geez. Yeah, all, all things told, I, I am extremely, extremely pleased by this. But, um, yep, go ahead, post comments, questions, etc. down below. Um, I'm fielding testers for this now. Uh, this, this test alone had me, um, had me quite amused. Product-wise, uh, please let me know what you think. I'm not sure if I should release just, just the, um, just the probes and guides, or people really want to pay for me to ship them, you know, rods and, and, and inventory lapping compound and such. Um, that would seem kind of silly, but, um, 
but I, I, I think the most I think the most likely thing is that people would want to buy just the probes or may and and, and alignment gauge and, and get their own get their own compounds and rods. Especially since you can just push these rods through with a um a cleaning rod if you don't want the anti rotation, which I mean, for an extra what? Six bucks plus a bit shipping off of Flea Bay or something like that, you can get the rod, it seems seems worth it to me. But um but I think the thing that might be most useful to some users is to offer the kit, but with um, with compound pre-applied if they don't want to get it. Because obviously one tube of compound is enough to do like hundreds, maybe thousands of barrels, way more than um, than any user would need to do. So some sort of way of, of um, defraying cost there so we don't have basically compound piling up in everyone's basement. Yep. But let me know what you think, how you think it should be packaged, all that jazz. Comment down below, like, subscribe, all that shite that YouTubers always ask for. Thanks for watching.